GruesomeHertzog.com. Hello, everyone. My review today is called Crockzilla in 2012. Don't laugh. I'll tell you why. Wow. PG-13, an hour and 30 minutes action adventure, released June 8, 2012 in China. That's right, China. Here's the storyline. A 36-foot crocodile goes on a rampage in Beijing after being moved from a peaceful crocodile farm and onto the menu of a local gangster. Directed by Lishang Lin, written by Lishang Lin. Here's the cast. Barbie Hsu as Wen Yen. Teo Goa as Wang Benji. Zaki Shi as Gangsta Louis. Suet Lam as Adal Dazu. And Zing Zin, Zin Zin Xiang as Jezoi Gai. And the cast goes on. Sorry for the mispronunciation, but let's move forward. The movie basically just started off with um, when a crocodile escaped from the from the restaurant. You know they're going to cook them up and serve them. Um, it finds its way in the back country, and this girl, I guess, had this money that she had that she saved up, and her and her boyfriend got in a fight, so he dropped her off, and she's on her all alone walking on foot, and she comes across this crocodile. She's scared to death. She jumps up, runs up a pole, and she starts trying to swing at the crocodile, and the bag actually gets eaten by the crocodile. That's her phone, her money, and everything is in it. So this girl's going absolutely ape shit because she lost everything, and she wants to get this crocodile back so she can get her money. That's how the story started. It, again, it's a well-put-together film. I quite enjoyed it. A little leery about it because, you know... The last movie in China that I watched, it wasn't very good. It's about a guy, uh, Chizui Guy. He had this crocodile farm, and his little grandson, um, you know, hung there after school, and the gigantic crocodile is, you know, comfortable with the little boy and the owner to a point. Well, something happened that he was forced to sell the all his crocodiles, the big one and the four little ones. Well, it turns out that this gangster douchebag bought them just to eat them. Well, this gigantic crocodile escapes. So then the story basically is about, at first, figuring out where this crocodile is. The crocodile in this movie didn't really kill a lot of people, and that's what I thought was pretty cool. It was not like your blood and guts killer crocodile mauling everybody down. There's a nice story behind it. But good acting. You know, I was I was like wondering how they're going to dub the voices. Because the last movie I watched, it was really bad. And here, it was really good. Um, I was surprised. It did get three wins and a nomination. So there's something behind that. Um, if you like cro now this crocodile, when it runs, it runs. It's fast as shit. Kind of reminds me of that movie I watched years ago. Um, how fast they run. You can catch it on... Now you can catch it on 2B TV. Just type in Croczilla and you can check it out there. Let me know what you think. I quite enjoyed it. I mean, I wasn't expecting much. You know, it kind of reminds me of an Asylum Pictures film, but not so techy, if you get what I mean. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 7 out of 10. I thought it's a well worth a watch film. I enjoyed it. This is Gruesome Herzog. And. I'm out of here.